Hey guys, Digital David here. Today I'm excited to be unboxing this beauty. It's the Logitech, it's the G513 Carbon Romer G Tactile RGB Gaming Keyboard from Logitech. I'll put the link to this in my video description below. You can check it out on Amazon. I also unboxed the G512. You can see that video too, I'll link that. Really pumped, really excited. Look at how cool it is. I always talk about this in all my Logitech videos, but their product packaging is on point. Great marketing, great branding. Here's the keyboard, really heavy, great weight to the package. Um, love the back, just showing the whole thing, all the keys. Talks about the RGB, the Romer G tactile, USB pass through, and then it's the aircraft grade aluminum um, material they use on the top of the keyboard, which is gonna have a spectacular finish. So this is how it comes packaged to you. I'll go ahead, we'll get it unboxed. Ta-da, she's beautiful. So, try to get it out gracefully. So here is everything. Here, plug, plug it in. Warranty, safety instructions. That's what's in the box. A really, I can already tell, comfortable wrist rest, palm rest. Really cool that goes with the keyboard. Really nice. It's so, it's so plush and cushiony. So really cool. G513. Where you see it right there. Keyboard, palm rest, wrist rest. So if you type in get comfortable. Just like the G512, I just love the braided cables from Logitech. That just always makes me think of like a higher quality um, keyboard or just peripheral anyways, which just makes me laugh because it doesn't necessarily mean it is, but I just always like that. They give you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve spare keys, which is really nice right there. Generally, they're going to give you the most common ones, one through five, Q, W, E, R, and A, S, D, and a nice tool for them. Thank you, Logitech. Got that. Now, for the keyboard itself, let's go ahead and look. And in case you're wondering, for the Romer G versus like a Cherry MX switch, I'm not the computer scientist here, but basically Logitech has developed an awesome Romer G switch, which in a nutshell, I believe you can press your key that much faster and it will respond and pop back up that much faster. So they claim, you know, 25% advantage over, you know, anybody else's switches. Um, so that's kind of the, the pros and cons, I guess. You can read about it online. Um, sounds like th these are just as durable, if not more durable. But again, you kind of got to get the more scientific stuff that's over my head. Um, but hopefully this video can just help you kind of see, okay, I could be good with that or no, I want to stick with, you know, something else. But I mean, I can't notice a difference. I'd say um, at the high end gaming level, I'm sure some people will be able to know, you know, oh, I need this key or that key. Or again, some people just say, well, I really like the sound of this one verse, you know, what I'm seeing in this video or vice versa. So there's a lot of stuff to kind of factor in. If you can see the product, then maybe just do a little bit of reading, like I said, in that Amazon link, or just search the difference between what you're looking for to see what's best for you. That'll be um, good enough, and you'll be really happy. But So back to the keyboard. Um, it's really cool. Love that they got these little on the back. I'll just show you right away. We'll just jump right in. They got these little pass-through channels, so you can pass through some wires, which is really nice. Great grips for the table, that your, your surface that you're using, and then fold out legs as well. They got a little threaded channel right here. I believe it's for the HTC Vive VR tracker can mount right there. I believe that's what that is for. I can't think of any other use. Um, so yeah, that's kind of cool. At least that's built in for an accessory. USB, so you got it clearly marked USB and keyboard. So for the pass through, which if we're looking is right there. Nothing too spectacular on the sides, but again, this finish, with my lighting, it's kind of hard to see. It's like a lighter, um, silvery color. It looks so good with this keyboard. I've, of all the keyboards I've seen, 
Logitech has awesome materials for this brushed aluminum. It really makes this plastic keyboard come to life with that finish. It just looks top of the line. They do a great job. Um, so that's really, really cool if you can see any of that. Um, and then I'll just type for a sec. So hopefully you can kind of hear what the keys sound like. They feel really durable, really stable, that sort of thing. Now I'll go ahead, I'll work on, we'll plug the keyboard in and see it all lit up. All right, I got the keyboard powered in. Really excited about this. As you can see, F9 through the pause button up here. Maybe I can need to turn it like that. Maybe you can see them blinking. But that is your media keys right there. And then hopefully I can use function F5 and cycle through a couple different colors so you can kind of see a wave going by. A lot of different LED goodness happening in that one. Here we go. So now it looks like it's a flashing blue, which is really cool. Got some more flashing a bunch of different colors. Oh, that's really neat. Oh, I love that. So you just type, you just push a key and then it does that like ripple effect. So cool. Back to, looks like a solid blue. So yeah, they got really cool themes and things set up right there. So many different uses. You can download their software too and configure this however you want. I just want to show you a quick glance at it to see how cool the LED RGB coloring is and just some of the little options they have and how creative they are with what they allow to be done. I mean, that looks so cool. That's definitely my favorite little preset that they have in the keyboard. Again, what an awesome keyboard. It's made by Logitech. You can go ahead, check it out in my video description below. Take it to Amazon. You can order it right off their website. And I appreciate you guys watching this video. Hit the like button, hit the sub button, ask me any sort of questions you may have, and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Thank you.